Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can create this text morphing kind of animations in Adobe After Effects using Element 3D plugin easily. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful and by the end of this tutorial, if you have learned anything new from this, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you want to check out my other Element 3D tutorials, playlist link in the description you will find lot of tutorials on element 3d so without any further ado let's start today's video so here you can see we are in after effects now let's start this by creating a new composition so further click on this new composition come to this preset options i will be selecting this hd 1080 which is a full hd resolution with a frame rate of 24 and duration of 5 seconds and hit ok so first of all let's create a background so for that go to this layer options new solid let me rename this to bg which resembles background okay. now come to this window and enable effects and presets panel and look for ramp gradient ramp select this gradient ramp and drop it onto this bg layer so end color i will change this to red and ramp shape i will change to radial and I will swap those colors. Now let me increase this end ramp here like this. Now let me darken this a bit. Okay, so this is looking good. Nice. Now let's input our text here. So for that, go to this layer options, in new, select text. So I will be having this Godzilla name here. So let me increase the scale to 500 and let me align it at the center so now let me enter another text so again go to this layer options new text and let me enter king kong and again increase the scaling press s on the keyboard for scaling options and let me increase to 500 and align it at the center so we got this both text aligned on one each other so let me bring it here okay so let me hide out this text now let's create a new solid layer for element 3d so go to this layer options once again new solid let me rename this to element and make it as comp size and hit okay so now come to this effects and presets and look for element so select this element plugin and drop it onto this element layer so in effects control we will get that element so come to this custom layer options custom text and mask expand that one so in path layer one i will be selecting this king kong text so in path layer two i will be selecting this godzilla text so once the text is selected now click on this scene setup so here we got a new window open to work in element 3d so now click on this extrude button so we got this king kong text so in order to get the godzilla text so see this is in folder one so in path layer two we got this godzilla text so we need to duplicate this model so just right click here and duplicate that model now select this second model scroll down to this custom path here we need to select this custom path two so we got our Godzilla text also here. Nice. So now let's add some materials onto this text. So here I will be using some default materials which are available while installing Element 3D. So for the go to this preset options, bevel, physical. So for this King Kong text, I will be using this gold. And for this Godzilla text, I will simply select, drag and drop that preset onto the text so we got materials on the text so now let me place this text here like that okay so that it will be aligning properly fine so if you see here these both text are in group folder one so in order to get this morphing animation we need one of the text to be in another group so i will be selecting this what is this okay godzilla text and simply drag it out from this folder and make it group 2 okay so in group 1 we got king kong text and in group 2 we got godzilla text okay now hit here okay 
so we got our both text here so in order to view this text in 3d space we need to create a camera layer so go to this layer options and new select camera let the default settings be as it is and hit ok now select this unified camera tool and simply rotate this text here like this and let me zoom it up here okay so now let me add some camera animation first so let me move to this one second let me bring it up expand these options transform enable keyframe of this position and point of interest now let me move to this this frame and let me change the camera position here like this fine so we'll get this animation okay if you want to increase the speed of this rotation just reduce the distance between these keyframes fine okay so now let's select this element layer once again click on this element layer so now in group one we got this king kong text so expand that group one particle look if you want to increase the particle size you can do that if you increase this to 12 you can see the text will be increased so i'll be leaving this to 10 only so this is important come to this multi object and enable it and do the same thing for this group to text also in group two we got this godzilla text so for that come to this particle look multi object enable multi object okay so after enabling this multi object option we will find this animation engine expand that one and enable it so we got only one text now so in start group it is set to group one which is king kong right now you can see that and in group two finish group will be group two text so it will be godzilla so if i increase this animation you can see we got that godzilla so starting from group to group one so let's add some keyframes here so let me come to this frame let me enable this animation keyframe and add this frame make it as 100 okay so if i play this animation you can see we got this morphing text kind of animation so if you want to change the type of animation you are seeing we can do that here we got an option like animation type if i change this to radial so it will be different now see we got this kind of animation so let me change to random and it will be somewhat different so pick the animation which you like so i'll be leaving this to radial and coming to smoothness if i increase this to 100 percent it won't be looking that much cool here you can see it is not looking good so if i change to 25 it will be this kind of animation so leave it to 50 percent only okay and randomness i will increase to 100 percent ease type let it be easy and group direction let it be forward so here you can see our king kong test will be modifying to godzilla so if you want to do in reverse format like from godzilla to king kong text just change this groups so start group change it to group 2 and finish group change it to group 1 so now godzilla text will be turning to king kong nice so in this way we can do this kind of animation where the text will be morphing using element 3d plugin easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye